What's going on guys? Welcome on into today's video. We are talking about the replay feature here on Trading View. So we got Trading View pulled up, we got a chart pulled up, we got Tesla pulled up, and we're gonna dive right on into it. There will be a link in the video description box and also a pinned comment if you're interested in checking out Trading View if you haven't done so already. Free trials for like 30 days to test it all out if you want to, or there's also a free version that you can utilize as well. So I highly recommend you check it out, at least at minimum, the free version. Um, if you're watching this video though, you probably already have some sort of the version, so you can probably get a good feel for um, the feature. So let's dive into it. Okay, so we're looking at Tesla stock right now, and on the top of my screen, this is of course, I'm on the web view, so I'm on a Mac, I'm looking at this online. I go to the replay button at the top, okay? It's a very short video here that we're gonna dive into this, and this is actually very, very useful. I click on replay, now I'm going to get this, okay? So if I have yet, if I click on replay and I don't select anything, I'm going to now need to go on my chart and essentially select a period to start the replay from. Okay, so let's say I want to start the replay when Tesla was making this reversal back in March of 2022. If I click on this area right here, a couple of days before that, now what I'm going to look at is we watch Tesla. I'll click on the play button a second. We have Tesla's chart reset. All of what's happened from March to now is erased. And if I click on play, watch these candlesticks. Now each of these candlesticks start to come in and start to come out and play on our chart. And we can really see how Tesla has moved from the past couple of months, right? Um, or from a specific date. So what's really cool about this feature is that you can customize the speed, customize the time frame, all of that good stuff. So if I slow the speed back, it says one update every two seconds, one update every three seconds. This might fit your pace a bit better depending upon how fast you want to look at things. Now. This could be very, very useful when you're looking at, you know, you just want to get a good feel for how stocks move, different charts, how a specific stock moves intraday, if you want to trade that stock intraday. Now, I'm looking at the one year, one day time frame. So each of these candlesticks is actually one day. So it's not the best indication because why? Because you know, the, you're, you're essentially putting in a daily candle here and that's it. You might want to look at this on a much shorter time scale. So for example, we can go to like the five minute chart. If I click on the X right here, I'll get rid of this. I'll exit the replay mode and then I'll come down. Let's say I want to go to the five minute chart for Tesla. And I want to look at Tesla over the past couple of days. Let me zoom ourselves in here to get a good feel. And each of these candlesticks now is five minutes. So now I'm going to start to get a really good feel for Tesla in a shorter time span, or on, let's say on more of like a day trade time scale, I can watch how it, how it handles VWAP, the white line right here. We have a video going over how to add indicators to your chart, so I would highly recommend checking it out. We can watch how it handles VWAP, what it tends to do. Does it like to move up in the mornings? Uh, does it like to kind of sell off into the close, or like at like 2.30 p.m., is there a sell off at you know, 1 p.m. is there generally some good buying volume? You know, there could be certain things you can take away over the past couple of days, weeks, or months that may help you, right? So now I go back up to the replay feature, click on replay. I'm going to go to select when I want to start the replay from. Let's say I want to start it from, I don't know, midday right here. I'll click on that. I will now look to the right hand side. I will now click on play. And now it's going to play, but it's going to play the five minute candles, guys. So maybe here I might want to, let's say, increase the speed to get a much better feel for how fast this stock moves. That might be too fast for me. Let's say I want to go back to, let's see, one update every one second. Okay, so now I can over, you know, the course of a day, I can compact all that information right in, get a really good feel for Tesla's movements over the past couple of days, replay this chart, only have to go back and watch this for a few minutes, and I get a really good feel of how Tesla traded the past couple of days. I don't have to wait five full minutes for one of these candles to pop on up. So that's the use right there. Um, there's also a pause button right here. There's a forward button so I can take it frame by frame if I would like to. And then this button right here takes us to real time on the right hand side, goes to real time, boom, we're good to go. That is the replay feature in a nutshell. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Again, links to get some free trials or to get access to the free platform of TradingView will also be linked in the video description box and pinned comment down below. Check it out if you are interested. Hope to see you guys in a future video. We'll also leave a link to a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal. Check that out in the video description if you guys are interested and we'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.